YouTube, um, I had so much luck in video 8 with the casting, uh, putting the, um, sorry, the angle here, draft angle, that uh, definitely I'm going to continue to move forward with that. Thanks again, Cold Coffee and other people. Um, and this is uh, the hub that I had created previously. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm going to kind of show you what my plans are here. Uh, I just wanted to show you a few things. I've cleaned the lathe up, kind of uh, vacuumed it up and got all the, the dirt off of it, uh, the brass. I bought these like 10 years ago. I don't know, it's like a, a rubber sponge and it's got brass in it, you know, for like cleaning up these surfaces. And it works, I mean, I haven't went everywhere, but it works pretty good, I don't know. So, I was cleaning it up. It's funny, right after you clean up your lathe, you just dirty it up again, right? And then it stays dirty for two weeks. And then you clean it, you immediately use it. And then it's dirty again for two weeks. But anyway, uh, I don't know whatever that is. If anybody wants to make a comment, maybe make a better suggestion to try to keep the discoloration off. Okay. So, uh, just so we all know, this is the center, to center hub here. Uh, what I've used here and with the other flywheels that you've seen. And I just want to see if it truly was three quarter of an inch. I think that's what it is. Okay, yeah, three quarter inch. Uh, so I was right on my guess. Um, this one, uh, what actually happened here, this one got caught up in the uh, bandsaw and it slid and rotated, so I've got a little cut. Now, that's okay because all I'm doing here is I'm just using that to hold it right now. But the whole thought here is I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, center hub and create that five degree taper on it. Now at this point, I will not be putting uh, the decorative bevel on it. Uh, I'll be affixing the uh, spokes before I do that. And the reason is, is because I need to get this in the mill at the correct angle. I was on uh, Amazon tonight, I'm looking up at rotary tables and I'm going like, ooh, I really want a rotary table. They're like, I don't know, 600 bucks, but you can buy them for like 100. Grizzly. If anybody has a suggestion for a good cheap one, I like the one that has the uh, angle in it. If you'd seen the video with the Craftsman Vice and how goofy it is, I figured if I got a rotary table with an angle in it uh, and I wanted a perfect angle, maybe I could do it. I don't know. If anybody had any thoughts on a rotary table, let me know. Um, and then I'll be posting that and demonstrating it as soon as I get it on order. All right, so back, back to the hub. So um, these pieces of circular brass I have are all different um, dimensions uh, because they're just cutoffs. So let's go ahead and just see what this dimension is here. Finish 0.416. So I'm going to go a little bit more than that. So 0.45 just so uh, it protrudes a tad bit. I can always clean that up if I want. I'm going to go ahead and lock it. And if you guys seen my video before about... Um, these, uh, this is the uh, uh, vernier calipers I purchased from Amazon. Pretty cool, the battery has not died. It shuts off automatically. Um, and I uh, tightened these screws up and I got rid of the play a little bit. And uh, they're working pretty good. Uh, uh, they don't say Rufus on them. Uh, we may add that later. Uh, you have to watch off all my videos to get that joke. But anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark a line here. And you can't see it because the sucker's all scratched up. Uh, but this is where I'm going to end my taper. Is at this line here. And then I need to get this chucked up, obviously, way before this. Uh, so we'll go over to the lathe and see if I can get this chucked. And then we'll bring the taper out to this line. Again, if you see my last video, video 8, oh, the release on this thing was amazing. Wow. Gosh, if somebody would have told me before, they would have saved me like a whole week's worth of time here in the shop. But we live and learn, right? All right, so let's go over the lathe and chuck this guy up. And uh, we're going to start working on that five degree taper on this one. All right, so can I get this thing in here with my defined line and still cut? I'm only on that first finger there on the on the uh, these jaws here. I'm going to go ahead and spin it up slow and just see if I see it wobbling. 
Uh, that looks pretty true. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and get a little more tightened so it doesn't spin around on me. Okay, I'll come bring around here to the front of the lathe. And uh, again, I have this set at the five degree angle. And I showed you guys how to do that in the last video. And so the whole thought is here is this thing cuts at five degrees. So when I bring this thing all the way up and flush, and as I start cutting into it, I'll get a five degree taper, which will be the release for the draft angle that I need for casting. Again, cold coffee, I can't thank you enough. I was like, I, I, I'm serious, three days in here, messing with casting sand. I didn't show it because you guys would have been bored to death and everybody knew it anyway. But I have to tell you that, uh, boy, that was, that was the answer I needed, thanks. All right, so we'll bring this up. A little note here, guys, if you guys would have seen my previous lathe videos, and the uh, tachometer. I actually found the magnet I lost. It's right here. Um, it was actually, believe it or not, stuck to the bottom of the lathe over here. And what I was, not this lathe, but the other lathe. And uh, when I was cleaning, I actually found, uh, found the magnet. So maybe we'll incorporate that into the uh, tachometer when I get moved over there. All right, so I'm gonna bring this guy up. <clears throat> And in this case, I really don't need the carriage. Uh, everything can be done here. And uh, again, if you can see this line here, that's where I'm gonna cut to. Uh, so I have to work a little bit at a time because you can't just cut the full thing because it would be too deep. So I'll just keep going. Uh, I'll do a cut and then I'll move it in and a cut and move it in. And I'll continue to do that until I get up to my line. And then I'll have the, the five degree that I need and I'll work on the uh, spokes. And at, when I'm done machining it, I wanna show you some of my thoughts for the spokes because I'm thinking about changing my design, especially because I need the def, draft angle. All right, so let's go ahead and get this cutting started. I forgot I had left my drive in when I was cleaning it. Oops, still in. There we go. Got it. Okay. I'm going to dirty my beautiful lathe up. Wow, this won't take very much cutting at all. I would say one more cut and I'll be complete. And I've already faced this previously. So, uh, okay, one more cut. So I'm pretty straight. When you start getting these angles in, it gets pretty interesting when you mount stuff up in the chuck. There we go. Okay, I'm past my line. So I've got my release angle. Um, I'll go ahead and take this out and uh, I'll show you a couple thoughts. Now this will be cut off and finished, obviously, after I get the spokes in. But uh, I just have this for holding right now. So let me go ahead and remove this. And we'll come down here to the drawing board. So uh, there's my donut or my ring, and this will be going in the center, obviously, but when we cut this off, they'll be about the same plane. Um, so anyway, I was just going to draw a couple thoughts. Uh, uh, reading some of the documents, I found that you can't have any uh, hard angles. So uh, let me go ahead and grab an example for you real quick. Uh, these are hard angles, and this is going to cause me a problem uh, with my uh, uh, my sand, my casting sand. So, uh, what they'll typically do is uh, they'll put, um, uh, come on guys, what is this called? A fillet. Fillet? Okay. So, I have to come up with a way to fillet. And then also, 
on the top of the hub I need to um, with the spokes I need to come away to make sure that there's enough uh, round material and then I would also have to create that uh, five degree or whatever angle here and so what I'm thinking is instead of doing the spokes in this direction I'm thinking about laying them down so the spokes will kind of be like this uh, it's not a great example but I think you kind of get what I'm saying so instead of Instead of having them vertical, I'll lay them down, which I think is more standard or more traditional. And uh, let me just give you a thought what I'm thinking here. I'll just rough draw this here real quick. And uh, this will not be perfect, obviously, you know. I'm not using any measuring tools. But I'll just show you the inside and outside. Yeah, that's a layoff. <laughs> Okay, that'll work, but this is just uh, for fun, and I'm just kind of showing you what I'm thinking. I'll get more precise when I get down to it. And again, I'm just doing, I mean, I haven't drawn this yet, but uh, I just want to show you what my mind's kind of thinking. So we're still going to do three spokes, um, and they're going to be at 120 degrees. Uh, I, I just like that. I mean, I could go with four or five. I don't like four as much. I like three, um, you know, five or six. Oh, that's cool. But I like three. So anyways, for my spoke, what I'm thinking is I'm just going to draw a line here. And this will just be a straight line to kind of give me a reference point. This doesn't really mean anything except for the reference point. So since I can't have the sharp angle, and what you'll see a lot of times is you'll see, um, you'll see something like this, which I think is a good start. Okay. And then I want to go to skinny to um, wider, right? And then I think I need to continue on with the, I don't really know how to do this. I'll have to go look at online, but I can't go straight because that creates a corner, but maybe something like this. And then all, let me bring this back in and kind of show you the other thought, thinking about like this. Okay, so uh, obviously this is gonna be a, a kind of a difficult thing to make. Um, but uh, it'll be well worth it, especially if uh, it turns out right. And one other note here is that also, from what I've been reading, is that these can't, you know, not only we've gotten rid of the sharp edge here, but this can't be a sharp cut here. This needs to be rounded over as well. So I don't know how to draw it, but these, um, this will be angled as well, you know, coming down. I'm sure this is not a great example, but... Uh, looking at this here you can see that this will be rounding over and then on the other side obviously it will need to round over on the other side so this will be a pretty uh, complex piece to make um, and again this is why I'm casting is because it's easy to do it one time that, that's not a problem I mean not easy but I can do it one time that's fine but then later I just want to cast it so I don't have to cut all these complex angles again and again and again so uh, I'll go through the struggle of making it, making these um, once, um, and then uh, and then hopefully the casting will work out. One other note that I don't think that this picture uh, defines is that where this will sit, I'm actually going to go ahead and put it all the way at the back. Now this is just mainly so I don't have to have a two-part casting. Um, you know, if it works out and I have a lot of success hey, I'll come and work on that. But I'm just going to have a flat uh, back and then the decorative will be on the front. But if it works out right, then I will definitely go back to a more standard style uh, where, where there's a two-piece casting and it's in the center. But for right, for right this time, just trying to get some success, it's going to be right at the back and then it will also be at the top of the mold. And then, like I said, I won't have to worry about the, the two-piece. Okay, YouTube, uh, this is just, uh, wanted to show you cutting, and I wanted to show you some of my thoughts about where I'm going with this and uh, how I'm going to uh, finish this out. Uh, so thanks for watching. The next video uh, should be about making spokes, uh, which uh, is going to require a lot of mind work. Uh, so I will work on that and uh, come up with some plans and show you how I'm going to do it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, you all have a nice evening.